Well, it was the attack. The attack felt right around the country. Dana Vullen, at just 25 years of age, was set alight and left to die. Emerging from adversity with a lot of strength, the Perth native has reset her path and is well and truly kicking goals. It was an early February morning in 2012 when Dana Vulan woke to find a woman in her apartment dousing her in methylated spirits. What happened next shocked the nation. I was engulfed in flames. I cupped my hands on my face and started screaming. With third degree burns to more than 60% of her body, Dana nearly died. I was shattered like my soul was broken. I could feel it pouring out of everything. But this is more than a story of survival against the odds. Nine years after that harrowing encounter, Dana is proving the old adage that what doesn't kill you, in fact, makes you stronger. In my wildest dreams in the beginning, I didn't for one second think I could look in the mirror and see the old Dana again. The motivational keynote speaker also found success as an author and has graduated university with multiple degrees. The most recent, a master's in science. And Dana Vulan joins us live from Perth this morning. Always great to see you, Dana. Hi, guys. How are you? We, we are great. How are you do going, more to the point? Good. Really good, actually. Like, um, surprisingly well. Um, I've obviously, yeah, just finished my third degree at uni, my master's in science specifically nursing because I want to get into cosmetics and disfigurement um, to be able to give back more than I do now and I'm actually looking forward to having a life again more than anything. Wow. Dana, that, that's uh, amazing. So you, you're now motivated to try and pour yourself into helping others who've gone through what you have gone through. Obviously certainly no one can live through what you have but to try yeah. and help in that nursing sense to try and help uh, people who've, who've been through burns. Yeah, not just burns. Um, people who were born with um, birth defects, disfigurements, had disfigurement from car accident, cancer survivors. Um, disfigurement doesn't just come in one form and just doesn't come from burns. Um, but yes, that's my goal. <laughs> so, no, so nine years, we say it's been nine years. Yep. Ha, sounds like you are very, very busy. How often do you go back to that place though, Dana, in your mind? Are you too busy to even think of it these days or do you fa find yourself drawn back there from time to um, time? So I don't ever try to relive the day or the person that did it to me because I want to give them that power, but because I just did so many rotations for the last few years in different hospitals, yeah. um, it, was, it reminded me of like walking into a patient's room, their heartache and their family's heartache because when somebody's injured, to such a calibre, yeah. everybody's affected. But also, um, when I'm having a really big surgery, like I had my back replaced a couple of years back and I was laying essentially on my stomach for two months, mm. that's the only time I really think of the time of when it happened. Otherwise, I just, I'm, I'm kind of a person that looks forward. I think if you look back, you're only gonna go backwards and yeah. get a sore neck. Yeah. <laughs> Onward. There's absolutely no doubt that there's something extraordinarily special about your mindset, Dana. You have to be of a certain composition to be able I'm to be able to, to survive <laughs> this. An element of crazy, perhaps, but uh, but mostly it's the resolve. Your ability. I, I'm just listening to you in the setup package. You were saying y your soul was broken. You felt it pouring out of you. But to look at you now, you are absolutely put back together in so many ways. Where do you find that strength? Um, and where do you find that motivation? Uh, it's going to sound very cliche, but um, the strength I found in love. So I'm the person that sticks to decisions. And I, I decided I was never going to die or kill myself. Um, I couldn't even if I wanted to, I was so disabled. But when you have an injury this big, it didn't just affect me, it affected my family so deeply and my friends and the medical community and the, the judicial system. And on those days when it was really hard to fight for, like, and move forward, I fought for them. How dare I give up on people who didn't give up on me. Um, but also, you know, I'm not a hateful person. I don't believe in revenge. It's like drinking poison, but I think success is a wicked revenge. So that drove me as well. Um, but look, I just... 
I'm going to wake up every day anyway if I've decided to live. Why would I wake up and have a crappy life versus waking up and giving it my all and having the best life I can? So it just it seems black and white to me. Yeah, Dana, you just say uh, graduated your third degree. That was a master's in yes. science. Yep. Is this the path you think your life would have taken if not for the events of nine years ago? Do you think you were ever on that path or do you think you would have been doing something different? Um, it's hard to say that you, anyone could have been on this path. Like It's not just that... I just did my third degree. It was, I'm an international author and speaker and I was always an academic, so I'd done two of my degrees before my burn. Mm. Um, but it, part of my identity, I guess, now is something that I pride myself on is I'm actually known for making one of the biggest recoveries in the world. Yeah. So I, I don't think regardless of how driven or ambitious I was, I would have been known for my recoveries. I just would have, you know, there, I always say the world has plenty of beautiful blondes. What it needs now is more beautiful minds and beautiful mm. hearts. And at least, like, that way I am different. And I know I'm as unique on the outside as I am on the inside. And I get to be I love that. hope. You know, I get to be, like, mothers whose children I burnt, who ring me or message me and tell me, like, I showed my daughter mm. or my son your photos and you've given them hope. And that's, that's something that doesn't matter... What a gift. How hard you drive, like, or what you do, you cannot give to someone unless you've experienced. So I, I'd know it wouldn't have been the same path. Mm. Donna, you touched really briefly just then on, on revenge and you talk about your, your recovery, which has been just extraordinary. Well, <laughs> what, how, how much of that has been able to let go of the anger for what happened? H have you ever had any contact with your attacker? Uh, no, only just during court. And I guess um, I'm just not a hateful person. Again, I decided to live, so why would I live and be angry? I do, especially in the beginning, I would get angry when I like would hear my mum or my sister or my family or friends cry, but also try to cover it up for me because I was so broken. Mm. Um, and like, do what you want to me. I'm fine. I'm pretty resilient, um, as we now know. Um, but don't mess with my family. Like that mm -hmm. makes me mad. Um, and uh, never an apology or recognition um, or growth on... But I guess you can't expect that because someone who does something like this isn't, of, in my opinion, sane of mine. Mm -hmm. Donna, we, we must wrap it up here and we'll say goodbye, but yesterday the, the marches with thousands and thousands and thousands of women marching against violence throughout the country. Your thoughts? So proud. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, delayed. We should have all been marching years ago, but that's just not how the world works. Regardless, like, it made my heart want to explode. I, domestic violence isn't just for women. Men get domestic violence as well, and I love that. I saw men in there. I saw men supporting women, women supporting men, and I've had a lot of friends go through domestic violence situations, and they're not as black and white as if you haven't been through one. So, like, when you say, oh, get out to your girlfriend, it's not just not that easy. Mm. So I'm, I'm just really proud, and the only way we can empower ourselves is by creating awareness. Yeah. So well said. Cool. Dana, uh, an absolute treat talking to you. Uh, it's easy to see why you're inspiring so many across the country. Oh. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, guys. Lovely Thanks. to see you, Dana.